What's up, you guys? It's Susan Morad, right back here on Clever News. And over the past few years, Emma Chamberlain has become one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. And with that comes some crazy opportunities. But in 2020, Emma has gone back to her YouTube roots and fans are so here for it. All right, so if you've been following Emma Chamberlain on her journey to fame, you remember her original hilarious content back in 2017. Get ready for Throwback Emma. You know, duty calls, I have to pee. So what am I gonna do? Well, there's no bathrooms near me, so I might have to use this. But over the past few years, Emma has become so famous that she's appeared on high-profile magazine covers, partnered with high-end designers, and created her own successful coffee company, which is still going very strong, by the way. Shout out to Chamberlain Coffee. But in 2020, Emma has spent a lot of time getting back to her roots, and whether or not that was thanks to the lockdowns, we're grateful for her content. In 2019, Emma started to face some criticism from some fans who claimed she was no longer being relatable due to her high-end fashion posts and influencer lifestyle. But despite 2019, fans think Emma's 2020 content has been more relatable than ever. I'm gonna be honest, like I know that no one cares, but why am I nervous for people to see my cheese board? I don't know, I'm nervous. It's like giving somebody a gift and like having to see their reaction and like you don't know if they're gonna like the gift. It's like awkward. This person wrote, is it just me or has 2020 made Emma Chamberlain relatable again? Here for it. And others agreed sharing how relatable they thought Emma's podcast and YouTube videos have been. She's posted videos doing everything from going on a trip by herself to doing her own gel manicure at 2 a.m. to recovering from a mental breakdown. If you guys have a lot of mental struggles yourself, consider getting cats. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much more relatable than sitting on the floor of the bathroom cleaning out your cat's litter box. And that's why we love Emma. But she didn't only get back to her roots with her own content this year. Emma has also thrown it back with some collaborations that brought us all back. While in the past, Emma and James Charles were caught up in some sister squad drama, this year they came together and collaborated again. We're friends again! <laughs> oh, that was a bad high five. Do you want to try again? Representative of the past. Yeah. Do you know what? We've had, we've had some distance on our friendship, but we're back, and it feels so good. Did you miss me? I did. I did too. I, I missed did. you too. I'm Leave it to 2020 to bring these two back together for some epic videos. She also collaborated with TikTok and YouTube skincare guru Hiram, aka Skincare by Hiram. So please give me an alternative. It's not that special. <laughs> My it's wallet really not... is hurting, Hiram. I. <laughs> Speaking of TikTok, Emma has also leaned into TikTok in 2020 on a whole new level, much like the rest of us. She's been dancing in her pajamas in bed, and her mum even got in on the TikTok fun. And so, if for whatever reason you hadn't been keeping up with Emma in 2020, she's honestly been serving up hilarious content that you're gonna wanna binge. She even won two People's Choice Awards this year for Best Podcast and Social Star of the Year. So, like I said, she's still been killing it in 2020, despite the tougher circumstances. But for now, if you want more news on Emma Chamberlain and some political drama she got caught up in, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know if you've been loving Emma's content in 2020 in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.